<clears throat> Good morning, YouTube! Alright, everybody, welcome back to the vlog. VLOG. Do you know what that stands for? I actually, seven years ago when I did my first vlog in 2009, 2010, I had to look up because nobody really was doing it at that time, like consistently. Uh, so I had to figure out, like, what does that word mean? It means video, it's video blog condensed down to VLOG. All right, tip number one for how to vlog. And I am speaking from the mindset of daily vlogging. Keep that in mind. It's getting a little bright. Hold on. Basically, take your camera everywhere. Take your camera everywhere. Now, this could be your phone camera on your phone. It could be your, um, you know, little point and shoot. Uh, G7X or whatever or it could be your DSLR which is what I'm using so take your camera everywhere because you never know when you're gonna have clouds like this As I'm going throughout today, I'm just going to be throwing tips and tricks at you as they come to my mind. I don't have time to like write it out and talk, you know, it's like, so I'm just going to let you, let you have it. If you are a night owl, edit your vlog at, at night before you go to bed. If you are a morning person, moi, right here, right here, you should edit in the morning. When you have your coffee, your brain is getting going, I, once, after 10 p.m., when a lot of YouTubers edit their vlog, I am dead. My editing, first of all, I would not enjoy it as much, and it would be a lot harder for me to make good decisions in the editing. So, if you're a morning person, edit in the morning. If you're a night owl, edit at night. Just a little tip, little tip. So, because it's, it's important to think about when you're setting up your day, how am I going to edit a vlog every single day, if you're doing daily. All right. Alright, so we got the aerator. I'm gonna explain what the machine is here in a second, but before we fire it up, we're gonna do one more dose of water. Remember in yesterday's vlog? Check that out toward the end. Fast forward to like the seven minute mark. And basically, I wanna get a good, one more good layer of water down on uh, the lawn, and that will help with the aerating, fertilizing. Alright, let's go. Starting. Remember, massage your yard, massage your lawn, kind of like your dog. Well, these things right there, those are called, basically they create these plugs in your yard and that allows water, air, and fertilizer to go down into the roots. And uh, I have another trick I'm gonna show you here in one second, but let's see if I can get it out of the car. It's gonna be interesting. Close. Gas to power that up, isn't that cool? Cool, Pop. Okay, you ready to close it? Yeah. Okay, you close it. Yep, you got it. Good job. Go. Whoa! Get out of the way! Sprinklers! Look out, Joseph! You're gonna get wet! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the trick, the tip that nobody else, I, I've never seen anybody else do this. 
aerating is crucial for your yard. It makes holes in your yard, and you're like, wait a minute, that's a bad thing. No, that's a great thing, because then the fertilizer, the water, the air, it can go down to the roots. You gotta nourish your roots like your life. We gotta nourish ourselves deep down. So, basically, this is the aerator. This is the 45 pound dumbbell that I just got from the shed, and I put it on top. I'm gonna tie it on, and that is gonna add, well, 45 pounds. So it's instead of making inch deep uh, plugs into the grass, it's gonna make two and a half inch deep plugs, meaning the nutrients are gonna go deeper to the roots, more nourishment. This is a trick that is what I do, and it works really, really well because my grass is usually pretty green. So that is the trick of the day, tip of the day, and uh, let's strap it on. All right, here we go, time to fire it up. We did it, tip of the day. I know this is turning into a lawn care vlog, but basically, do not hire an aeration company. Call me up. Because the aeration company will only go over each square foot of yard one time. That's not enough. If you really want the good stuff to go to the roots, you gotta go over it three, four, I just went over the backyard at least five times. You saw it in the time lapse. And that is how you really break up the nasty winter sludge that is in your yard and whatever else. So that's the uh, other tip of the day. And for the how to vlog tip, don't be afraid to use time lapses to tell your story because it's basically condenses the last hour and a half of work in the backyard into a short, 12 second segment for your audience. Make sense? Capiche? All right. <laughs> now we gotta take the machine back. <laughs> you guys better move. So uh, back at the house after picking up some fertilizer, and you guys may not even know this, but you should. Uh, True love is from True love is from Chicago. So Now that you have about, I don't know, I'd estimate about 100,000 holes in your yard. No, I don't know. 50,000? I don't know. Now it's time for one more dose of water from the sprinkler system, even though hoping for a little more rain today, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So, let's do it. I completely forgot that I was in charge of three human beings under the age of five this afternoon. So, as far as the how to vlog, I'm going to do my best later on today. Thanks for bearing with me, but uh, there's three little human beings running around right now, and uh, basically, they have my full attention. You know, you know how it goes. But I am very excited about this. Talk about it in a little bit. The vlog is not done. Okay, the vlog is not done. Oh my gosh. Kofuzi! You guys who've been watching the vlog for a little while, Kofuzi, go check out his channel below. Kofuzi, 
you, sir, have kicked off the postal party for the vlog. Kofuzi is from Chicago, so check out his vlog. He does great vlogs. He really focuses a lot on um, uh, running, um, time lapses, uh, working with like GoPros and like mastering the GoPros. What else does he like to do? Transit, so like taking the trains through Chicago, which I love, sorry. And so, Kofuzi, thank you for the postcard. You kicked off the first ever item received at the P.O. Box, 17... <laughs> 79, <laughs> I almost forgot my P.O. Box. So it's P.O. Box 1779, Englewood, Colorado, 80150. And yes, if you send mail, if you send whatever, chocolate, coffee, whiskey, I will give you a big old shout out and a link to your channel down below. See, beauty? Work hard, love each other. Thank you, Kofuzi, Michael, <laughs> for the postcard from Chicago. See you tomorrow.